in a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends change the future of the movie podcast game forever. The reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life-affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement, the Have You Seen It podcast. Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across from me is the one, the only, Cash Krause. Cash, how are you? I'm doing good. Feels good to be back home. It does, doesn't back it? in the saddle again. It's good to just again. be reviewing film nonstop all the time Yes, again. absolutely. Took our little break, but we are back in full force. Yeah, it people wonderful. might recognize we look like we're in a new environment. We are in a new environment. If you're watching on YouTube, we definitely are. Uh, we, we have a new studio up. Yes, we we'll do. We'll probably talk about in all five of our episodes. Well, we have we'll just, to. Yeah, then we'll just and leave it alone after yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is technically our first one that will be released in the new studio. That is true. Right. Yeah. Yes, so it this is. is yep. This is our foreign Technically, film it is FFF. FFF. But this is technically our inaugural that new is studio right. episode. Yeah. So it's special. Well, because we had just we just recorded uh, an American uh, an American werewolf in London. Yes, but that doesn't come out until next Thursday. Yes. So yeah, this is our inaugural. So I guess it makes sense that we're talking about the new studio. Yeah, today. and I'll bring it up still yeah. Yeah, <laughs> in, in the next four as well. But uh, yeah, new studio, black walls, black walls. Yeah, black I'm glad black. I went with black instead of red. I was thinking about red, and then I was like, nah, black just looks sleek. It black looks is a good, good choice. Yeah, it makes it look yeah. like it's a, a kind of a movie theater too. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but it is it is October, it's Spooktober. It is. It's Spooktober. Ooh, so scary. So sc- what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so very scary, you yeah. know. And uh, we got a late start on our October, so we're we catching did. up with some horror films. Absolutely. So for Foreign Film Friday, we are tackling the South Korean zombie film yeah. Alive. Hashtag Alive. I, Hashtag Alive. I fucking alive. hate. When titles when have hashtags. hashtags, yeah, it's like, come on, it's like we're so relative. We're we're like you. We're we're young. We're kids. We do. We we have Twitter. I, just do a live, right? Uh, the, I don't. I don't like. It. I guess the omission of the hashtag is due to technical restrictions. Why? No idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish you knew more about that. No, that's literally all that I could find. I just feel like it's it's for the company to be like it's an easy hashtag, hashtag yeah. <laughs> to, get, to, get, to get going on Twitter or something like that. Yeah. But uh, but this is a uh, Netflix film. Netflix, uh, South Korean zombie film. Like I said, uh, yeah, it, it premiered on Netflix pretty re- pretty recently. I think it was September eighth. September eighth. So we're so About kind a of month. Re- kind of mm-hmm. yeah. But I yeah, saw it trending on the top ten though early September. It was trimming so. number one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it looked really good, and it I'm did. and at this point, I'm pretty tired about zombie films. That's I mean, what I was gonna say. It's hard to do a fresh take on a zombie film. Yes, it yeah. is. So I'm really, I was really wary going in, but it looked really good. Mm-hmm. We because we saw the first four minutes. We did, and we should talk about that because that's kind of funny. So you know, yeah. Netflix Asia drops the what they said was a trailer. Yes. So we reacted to that trailer, but it was the first four minutes of the film. Yes. Unbeknownst to us, we figured, okay, well, that is their definition of a trailer. So we uploaded that our reaction to immediately YouTube. get copyrighted. Immediately strike. get copyrighted strike. So, <laughs> so that you is can't one just put for the movie us. on. <laughs> I guess not. So uh, uh, you know, obviously, we had to take it down. We're going through some uh, BS back and forth with the emailing. Yeah. But uh, long story short, that never made it. So you guys never actually saw that. Yes. But we are here today to actually review the film. Yeah, which is... Which we can't get which, copyrighted strikes for. <laughs> <laughs> no, we cannot. So, uh, so but, but yeah, that's fine. I mean, it was the first four minutes, so it was kind of odd. Yeah. For sure, For because we don't really... We do trailer reactions. We don't Not do first four minute first reactions. First four minutes, yeah. But they had titled it doing. Netflix Asia, which is yes. their play. They titled I it. Fi- a trailer. Yeah, I, I feared someone was wrong with a four minute trailer. Seemed right. odd to me. Yeah. Seemed a little and like in sequential order the whole way through. Yeah. But. 
But, uh, yeah, as far as saying all that, you know, being wary about the zombie films and because there's been, we've been shoved zombie films down our throat at did, this point. And, and speaking of zombie, I got to bring it up. Did you see AMC Walking Dead is coming out with another <laughs> zombie show? Oh, yeah. Well, which one are you talking about? Wayward Worlds or something like that? Is that the one? Because, you know, there's a spinoff. One. There's an, a spinoff, I think, in the works with mm-hmm. Norman Reedus. That's his own zombie film spinoff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone watching is Walking Dead still? I don't think so. I, 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 I don't even think, I don't think Die Hard it. fans are still no. watching. So Walking it's like, what are you What are you making these for? <laughs> I don't and know. like at this point, like, well, I think, I think have, people like, watch lost. the spinoffs, though, because there's one spinoff going right now that yeah. I think people actually watch. But the original series, there's no, none of the original characters are in anymore. I'm pretty sure they all I don't even know died. if it's still on. Is it still I'm on? I'm pretty sure it's still on. Jesus. Yeah. Pretty sure it's still going. Let us know. Yeah, if I you're guess, still watching it, if you're I the mean, last guy, at some point you got to learn how to defend these zombies off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got. They're getting older. They're decaying. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they uh, digress a lot faster or, or degrade a lot faster yeah. than. Uh, well, I don't know because I, I feel like they can be walking around just like a skeleton. I know. I mean, as well, I saw I saw a uh, a trailer for it, and they like had moss growing on them and stuff, and I'm like, okay, at some point, don't. The, don't the bones just get so brittle that they just? We well, yeah, got a feeling even if there's like a hand, they're still just crawling. A yes. hand. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous, though. Uh, yes, not that. A fan of but it. that being said, I uh, I really enjoyed this. This I one, really this was a I lot really different. enjoyed. Yeah, this was a new take on zombie films, and it felt. You know, there were there were some things in it where I was like, okay, some zombies are moving super slow, some are moving fast to kind of push along the story but overall like i was really impressed with it i love the uh design of the zombies the way that they transform yeah i uh yeah i i it it didn't break any new ground but it did everything right that a zombie film needs to uh be done Mm -hmm. it it followed kind of the tropes but it did them very uh very well yeah it did where i i still enjoyed it you know i i Things were very things were surprising too. We got uh, first we got to talk about the zombies. They're fast zombies. They are. Which and I, thank God for that. I love fast zombies because it makes it so zombies, much more yeah. realistic for me, and I can actually handle. Well, these zombies are special. They're fucking stronger. They are. <laughs> They're uh, they can do things that regular people you think would not be able to do. No. But they are very frightening, scary zombies. Yes, and the news. You know, when he was watching the news, said that they could take on. You know things that they did in their jobs. They alluded yeah, to that early mannerisms. on. Old mannerisms, like opening doors. They opening doors. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, hey, these guys. Like, these if you knew a guy that doors. loved just opening doors, <laughs> he'd be the watch over greatest because, door opener of all time. Watch over him because he <laughs> is the most dangerous zombie. Because he knows, or maybe there's a locksmith zombie. Mm-hmm. That guy's fucking dangerous because right. he's breaking in. And uh, but yeah, I, I loved. I felt they did the zombie apocalypse and all that very realistically. Yeah. There was never a time where I'm like, this is kind of stupid. I'm like, even for like the motivations for the characters and just the motivations for the world, mm-hmm. the way they like, usually when it's a zombie apocalypse, everything like the news agency, all the news, they immediately go out. Yeah. Everything oh shuts God. out like instantaneously. Like zombies always know attack the satellites. <laughs> like they, like, we got to get the communications down. And that's not something that this film did. They no. have news throughout the entire thing. Yes. That's realistic. It wouldn't it just collapse in a fucking night. But it would slowly, slowly collapse. And that's something that I really appreciate. It's kind of stupid to say, but I appreciate when a film does that. Oh, right. And I like I like zombie films when they show the start of the outbreak. I don't think enough zombies films, they always just jump into like... Three months later, yeah. like fucking everything's overgrown already mm-hmm. and everyone's dead. I like the start. That's my favorite part of a zombie apocalypse is when shit gets, when shit's just popping off. Yes. I think they could do a ton of like prequels to zombie films, which shows the start. Like for 28 days later, they could do 20 minutes later and show the start of that outbreak. Yeah. Or for I Am Legend, which I thought was just an average film, they could show it at the very start. You know, when things were getting fucking crazy and, right. and the zombies started taking over. That's the most exciting part. Yeah. But this film does that. I love the very opening 
when it gets right into it too. That's what I liked about this film too. You didn't have 15, 20 minutes of fluff learning about the character, this and that. You or learn about just enough that this maybe the army is doing mm-hmm. some doing some like uh, That's, experiments or yeah. some shit that they always no, got to put in. It was just a zombie apocalypse. We didn't need to know anything. It doesn't tell you. Does it ever to, tell you why? I don't think it ever. That's what I'm saying. I don't think in it ever. In regards to why, yeah. like, not even at the I, end. No, wow, you don't need to know anything about it. It just jumps in and it never explains the virus at all. Even the science isn't going to matter. No, it doesn't. You matter. have some guy and you've coming heard down it a million and like, because it's stupid. Yeah, because it's stupid anyways. Mm-hmm. The, the, so I'm glad you're right. It's it's so much better, and you don't have to waste any time doing that either. It gets because we saw the first four minutes two times. We did. So we know, <laughs> so we know uh, the beats for sure, but yeah. it, it gets going f- in two minutes in. Yeah. It's the zombie. Right when he goes, because I'll just tell you the story is about a gamer. He's He gets trapped in his house. Why is zombie ball? Because that's it. He's a, he's a streamer. Yep. And at first I'm like, man, this guy's successful for being a streamer. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, he's living with his parents. Not 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 as su- successful as I thought, but uh, but yeah, it gets going right at uh, at the fucking start. Yeah, you got some puppies going on out there. Yeah, they're barking pretty loud. <laughs> they hear us talking about zombies. They don't yeah, they, like they, it. They don't like it. But uh, yeah, I like the I like that it's it gets going and you immediately start with that uh, with the lady walking out and her daughter. Yeah. You know, you always always the fucking daughter. Always. You know, she's fine. You think she's fine at first, then she latches on. To your fucking neck and you're done. That's it. And that's what I was wondering at first too. I'm like, are these like super smart zombies where like they're they're prank or you know they're like Pranking. deceiving people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Prank, ha, I got you. No, but because she was like, mom. And but then I yeah, realized, oh, okay, slow. it was just a, yeah, it was just a transformation. Yeah. And I love that because that was really fleshed out, like how mm-hmm. the zombies turned. Like yep. they knew it, it, there was no like they said even on like the because the news is kind of in the background, kind of yep. constantly giving you information. You know, it's. A, a great it's a nice story element. way to yeah. do it too. And uh but yeah, you're getting that they they turned kind of slowly, but uh and you, their eyes turned bloodshot. And red. that scene was awesome. And yeah. when, when and the it's scary too, this film apartment. was very scary. I love yeah. the camera work. Whenever there's a zombie, it's like it doesn't cut away and the camera is crazy. It's jerking right. around yeah. and, and it's right in the zombie's face. Especially that scene when he goes into the other apartment mm-hmm. and he sees the dead, you know, misdirection, because he sees the dead lady in the on the cat or the bed or whatever. Yeah. And then the other guy comes fucking flying. But I love that camera where it's just crazy and jerky. But, uh, but yeah, we get that with the start where the guy just fucking breaks into his house. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, don't get me out. Let me go to the bathroom first. I thought for sure he was just going to go by there and lock himself in. Well, yeah, but I knew that was bad or a bad thing to do immediately. I'm like, why are you letting this oh, guy yeah. in using your bathroom? Get the hell out. Oh, There's yeah, shit exactly. going down. Yeah. You knew he got bit, too, just the way he was walking into his apartment. I'm oh, like, and that's that's what I'm saying. It's like those those beats are are just zombie, you know, tropes. You know, it's they always are. there's always one person. Uh, it's called a Kelly Conway these days <laughs> because uh, it's the person in every zombie movie that comes in. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, guys, I didn't get bit. <laughs> Yeah. And everyone's like, okay, he's fine. He's fine. Let him go. Little do you know, like when they're alone, you can see the camera and he's looking exactly. at Exactly. But he doesn't show anyone. Nope. nope. And then, uh, and then you know, but that's that's the thing. But they did it so, so good and such mm-hmm. a good job that it's, even though it's tropey, it was so well done that you don't even care. Well, and it was condensed too. It was like a three to five minute scene and then boom, it was over. We're moving on to the next plot point. Yeah. And you, you, know? you know exactly, you know, what the beats are going to, what's yeah. going to happen. But uh, And then the character learns from that. But the eyes going red. Was awesome. Was fucking awesome. It looked really good. And just the, the, the tension, how mm-hmm. immediately, like once you knew, it immediately just kept building and building. Until the guy was, uh, you know, they do that weird thing, the convulsion <laughs> thing <where> you, <laughs> yeah. that I love. Yeah, it's Because it's scary. Uh, but it, it it's been scary. done a, a bunch of times, but I, I love that. Uh, mm-hmm. Another scene we, we can pick out is, I love the scene when, uh, who I thought was she was going to play a bigger role was the lady cop. That's what I thought, that too. That scene's brutal. But I loved it, too. Yeah. For two reasons. One, it was lady cop. So you thought for sure, oh, yeah, she's going to get saved. Yeah. Right, and then that's going to be the love interest. She's kind of a badass, too. Right, of course. And I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, she's getting saved. They're going to team up. They're going to save the world. Mm-hmm. 
And that wasn't the case at all. No, it's fucking brutal. And we it should is. know by now, South Koreans. They love to throw you for a loop. That's what I love about <laughs> and their And they're films, not afraid man. to show, I mean, a woman, anyone, right. anyone getting brutally, brutally murdered. Because it's killed. brutal when she gets the gun. She's trying to fucking just shoot herself. Well, how about and when the they're like crawling the and her. rip her and like oh, and pulling so, her away. It's so creepy. like scattering like, uh, it reminded like me of de- ants yes. pulling like a carcass into an yep. anthill. Exactly what she said. Yeah. It was an ant. so yep. quick, man. It was it's so creepy. And then he's like yelling at him, like, God, oh, get off her. And then they kind of look up and then they fucking take her. And the next scene, she's, you know, zombified. Part of it. <laughs> but that scene is so good. You feel like, yeah, you felt like she was going to play a big role. Mm-hmm. She's almost saving her partner with the yeah. fucking revolver for some reason. They got revolvers. I don't know. <laughs> so, in in, in, any in point, 2020 gotta... South Korea, I mean, the most technology advanced city, it's damn near Wakanda. <laughs> yeah. It's still got revolvers. Yeah, Let's this go. guy couldn't even find a. Uh, a cord, an ox no. cord, because everything's cordless. Yep. He couldn't even find an ox cord. But this lady, she's got a six shooter. She does. <laughs> Cops are not equipped. No, they're not. Not equipped to deal with the zombie infection. That's her damn sure. But uh, I, yeah, I love that. Would have been here. You would have had bulletproof vests <laughs> and uh, AR-15s. AR-15s. <laughs> Just firing away. Cops with bazookas. Yeah, it would have been, been a dream. Those tanks would have finally come in handy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I love that. I love that scene. Yeah. It was uh, very, very scary. But it, And that kind of scene, it also builds, like, the hopelessness. Yes. And that's what every good zombie film has to do, is it has to uh, convey isolation. And that film does this, like, around 45 minutes in, it gets desperate. It does. It, well, and it's over and over, as you said, with the cop scene, but then with the big guy breaking in, knocking over the fridge. Yeah. You know, eventually he gets, he, he coaxes him to go over the ledge, but then you notice, oh shit, all of his food and water and resources are all gone when the water gets shut off too. Yeah, now, now he's so spilling like, his water uh-huh. and shit because he thinks he's got, because it's cool. I mean, it's very realistic. Again, his family's in constant contact with him. They're at like a, you know, a military uh, operation or something. Until. But they're like, yeah. Yeah, until that one point where he sees the voicemails and stuff and he's got to reach out of his apartment to get service. To get service, yeah. And that was a great scene too because it's like him hanging off the ledge. Well, and you saw earlier another guy do it. Kind of funny. Fell, yeah, and <laughs> fell off and oh, zombies all yeah. got him. And that was like a day after the zombie. So that guy was desperate for it when it back. Yeah, he was. And that's just how quick like, it dude, goes. I got to stream this video. <laughs> I got to upload this. It's my TikTok guy. I got to get on that <laughs> TikTok. I got to get it on. But uh, yeah, I, I like that. And this film is also, it's, it's funny at times. It is. Especially with the, uh, I laugh pretty hard when he's starving. But the TV's still going, so they're showing, like, ramen commercials. <laughs> and then he goes to the closet and gets the Last Supper on the note. I know, the last one. And that's because he was drunk, too, because he broke into his dad's, like, whiskey cabinet. So, uh, And at some point, he no food, just straight whiskey. Just whiskey. Which, well, I think you'll live for, like, 12 days just on whiskey. But really? What kind of life? It's what probably not of- the best life. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's it's the good life if you know you're going to die and yeah. get eaten alive. You'd probably rather die of whiskey than... You know, I the guess, alternate. But you're, yeah, you're going down a, a bad road. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I liked, I liked the element of the family still being there, and it's like it's added, like, because the pressure, you know, in Korea for kids to succeed by their parents mm-hmm. is much higher, right? And the pressure to survive a zombie apocalypse is it's pretty much high. Yeah. I feel like here, like, if we had a zombie apocalypse, my parents would be like. Yeah, just, you know, you're good. You know, we don't... Just do your best. Yeah, but we understand if you die. (laughs) Yeah, but like... Given the We don't expect you to live very long. Yeah, but there's a lot of pressure on this man because he's he's in a a Korean kid to succeed. He's like, my mom's going to fucking kill me if I turn into a zombie. So there's a lot of pressure. But I love love just how realistic everything is, even to where he like, you know, it's about to hang himself. Mm -hmm. And it's not the stupid cheesy thing to where like he regrets at the very end and then maybe like trips or something. Yeah. He straight up just fucking <laughs> was going to die. Yeah. He was going to hang himself. Very uh He's lucky. Very, He's very, very cool. Fortunate. Yeah, I mean just very he knows he wanted to go out on his own terms. But it wasn't it wasn't that stupid. Cuz we've seen thing. other people recently in films that weren't so lucky. Oh yeah. Devil all exactly. the time. Yeah, devil all the time. <laughs> But exactly, it was the it was the stupid. It was the thing where it's like, yeah, that's that's the trope I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Is yep. where she f- regrets, right? But that's in so many movies. It is to where they regret, and then they're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then oh, they're dead. And everyone's like, yeah, they were just fucking suicidal. <laughs> she hated life. Shit. Sad. Yeah, but this guy was just straight up like, let's get this thing fucking over with, because he did see that cop 
get mauled to death. Right. But then we get a uh, we get the love interest. Well, and and I think that was the point too with the with the family where he realized when they're like screaming in the voicemail. Oh, we gotta go. Da-da-da. Yeah, you know. So he thought his whole family was dead. I love that. Was I love the scene also where he's starting to starve and he starts mm-hmm. to like hallucinate yep. his family coming back. Yeah, and then he goes crazy and he goes out to the hall. He just starts breaks fucking. a TV, jumps. Remember, on he it. starts beating zombies to death mm-hmm. though. Just oh yeah, yeah, going that's at too, it. Yeah. Remember, and then he kind of fucking immediately regrets it. He As starts they to start hide. And then the zombie, them. very cool zombie, no eyes for some reason. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that happened. <laughs> but how that happened. It was cool. Maybe that guy had no eyes moment. before. Yeah. Just a freak, <laughs> but now it's much scarier. It is. But uh, yeah, I, I like that scene a lot. Mm-hmm. To where he, uh, and it's super. This is a a film that is like it's perfect for the times because it's damn near filmed in one location the entire time. Yep. I mean, it's kind of like right up the COVID rules Adam, alley of yeah. of doing really simple films, but uh, Except- writ- written by a uh, an American though. Oh, really? from Hollywood, yeah, written by an American, and then the director and the writer kind of rewrote it to fit uh, Korea. Oh, okay. You know, but uh, yeah, written by an American, surprisingly. But that that I mean I I don't know but you can kind of tell that there's you know influences of zombies other zombie films in this film mm. but that's probably how it is for every zombie film of but, course uh, but yeah I I think my only complaint was maybe it it ends a little too happy a little too uppity I thought okay that but was that's, my that's biggest kind of, gripe that's kind of tropey for zombie films sometimes it ends. You know, but a lot of time, like Shaun of the Dead, you know, it, it a lot of the times it ends with the army breaking in yeah. and, and saving people. So I understand it. Right. But it, it was very close. I it was thought a close it was, call. Yeah, I thought it. <laughs> For a I, film that was very realistic throughout the entire thing. I didn't like the whole helicopter. You know, I didn't. Saving them at the very end. I yeah. didn't like that at all. I really I thought, thought it was, was going to end with them dying. Yeah, that's what I thought, too, which I would have been fine with. I would have yeah. thought. It would have been oh, very perfect. bleak. Very Would've fucking been. dark, especially after all they went through with mm-hmm. getting to each other. Well, and that's, that's probably the reality of what a lot of people went oh, through. Oh, yeah, of course. You know? No one's, I mean, 90% <clears throat> of the people you think are making it out. No. But, uh, but yeah, I liked, uh, I liked that. I liked, the, I liked the scene when they're running, you know, when they're trying to meet each other and they're running. It's very, when they're trying to like get to the door. Yeah. And now all the fucking, because once the zombies, because they're not, again, they're not dumb zombies. No. They can hear and they're like, they can almost communicate with each other. There's fu- and there's a million of them, Darn. but I love that scene when they're trying to get in, and then you know the, the other guy lets them in. Mm-hmm. The guy's like, "Yeah, come on in." And yeah. that's the, again, that's very tropey too. There's it is always super that trope-y. kind of character. Yeah, some weird guy who's like trying to feed his, his family. Yeah, yeah. His family yeah. but they do something. it. They do it so you almost know it's coming, but they do it so well mm-hmm. that it's you don't care. Yeah. It's it's for beat and it's for par of exactly what kind of movie it is. But if it's done right, then you don't really care that it's been done before. Right. So it just shows. But it was it was fresh, but it also kept those things. But I like that guy, the typical guy of, I've been keeping my zombie wife. She's going to turn back. <laughs> I already know it. They're going to find a cure. We still get freaky once in a while. We do. It's not great sex. Up. Yeah, it's not great. It is. She's uh, growling the whole She's time. She's growling you know? very angry now. Much more angry. It doesn't feel quite the same. She ate her daughter. She did. So there is a rift between us. <laughs> between us, but uh, we're trying to work past it. We are it. ironing those those details out, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, that's that's it. But it's it was done so well with how tense and like the the rope leash and how he was like grabbing in, trying mm-hmm. to keep her going and whatnot, yeah. and that just the crazy guy. Well, the guy, I kept and the acting the is awesome. The like, grab the phenomenal. gun, grab the gun, jeez. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah. yeah, but again, that that uh, that force and emotion out of me, which is good. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want as an audience member. So. And the, that guy did such a good. I mean, they all do such a good job. The man. I, mean, I don't know their names, obviously, but uh, mm-hmm. but they all did such a good job. Yoha that, in and then Park Shin Hai. Yeah, and the guy though, but the guy that with his wife, he did such a good job too yeah. of thinking. You know, thinking at first he's this good guy. He's got all the food. He's been fucking. It's on his house even. Let no. him do his kid. He's got, yeah, he's got, <laughs> he's got plenty of food though. He does plenty have pl- of resources. Well, plenty of baby formula too, which is like, yeah. there's not a baby around here. No, what's going on? There's so a you should have so sketchy. Much- Who are you? <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, uh, I really enjoyed it, and that's so surprising. I. I mean, it kind of blew my expectations out of the water, just because I'm so used to being. These so mundane zombie films because we've and seen straight so to Netflix many. Too. Yeah, zombie films straight to Netflix. Straight to Netflix. You go, eh, I don't know. But the, the fact that it's South Korean and every right. every South Korean film we've seen 
has been great has so been far. F- especially when it comes to horror films. Yes. Has been phenomenal. Yeah. So I had a lot of hope in that. And it blew my expectations. I got to say, blew my expectations out of the water. I, I love a nice overall, runtime, too, like an yeah, hour 30 minutes, or something. Not bad. Not bad at all. Perfect for a zombie. You do not need a two-hour long zombie film. No. If it's two hours, it's gone on too long. Exactly. There's too much melodrama happening, mm-hmm. which there's very little, like, love melodrama in this. Yep. You you only got the sense, I mean, it was pretty lucky that the next door neighbor was kind of like this kind of good looking 19 year old girl. Kind Which of is the same age as you. And it wasn't yeah. just this 54 year old fucking maintenance guy <laughs> yeah. slob. who was just like, like a 67 year old woman yeah. over there, you know, old lady. <laughs> so it just happened to be that they're Pretty relatively the same age. Or good, uh, yeah. yeah, good luck. Good odds. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't mind it because there wasn't too much heavy handed love or they don't ever like in, I mean, not till the very end uh, where they think they're going to die. And there were funny elements between them too. Like when they do both fall down and then she's just like beating the shit out of all those zombies. He's like, she's a yeah. badass. And you know? well, and uh tense scenes too. When mm-hmm. she gets, when the zombie comes in and knocks her out and he can only watch. That's right. As the fireman yeah. zombies climbing, climbing like up. the fucking thinnest rope you've ever seen. I know. And he's climbing. Up. He was a fireman though. He was. You Firemen are strong. <laughs> yeah. And it's his old his mannerisms. Old yeah, exactly. So he was a, uh, but he had to use like the the fucking uh, drone to like slice him up a little. <laughs> yeah. But I love that scene. And then she yeah, comes and the drone and chops elements him off. were cool too and realistic. I mean, for yeah. the time and the fact that he's like a gamer and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It was never the sense like, oh, he's really good at shooting. Yeah, <laughs> nothing stupid like that yep. because he was like because he played a lot of Call of Duty. He could he's a perfect weapon smith and stuff like that. And he wasn't good at any of that. No, it never came into besides the technology. That he knew how to like splice cords and mm-hmm. stuff like that to get the radio. It never came into handy at all. Survivor instincts or anything no. like that. Just with the drone, which makes sense because I mean, you're operating it with your thumbs. And he's a streamer, you know, he's probably done that a million times yep. to stream fucking videos and shit. So that made sense. That's what, that's my number one take is I loved how realistic the writing was it and was. all the characters. Yep. Which I is agree. something. You never find in horror films in general or just zombie films in general. There's always some stupid character doing shit that no one would ever do. No. Putting the whole group in danger for something stupid. Uh-huh. Like, I got to get my cell phone back or something like that. Yeah, something. Like, yeah. What? Yeah. Don't you think that's a little selfish, pal? <laughs> Putting all of our lives in danger? Yeah, so or I got to go get my eat? dog. I got to get my dog. Like, Look, we have man, a group of nine. Your dog. We got to go. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, like, have, these are human lives. And it's always something stupid like that. But, uh, yeah, this was one of the better zombie films I've seen. In a while. In a long time. I think probably since Zombieland. I really like the Zombieland, yeah. the first one. But sh- still not uh, not Shaun of the Dead level good. Because mm-hmm. that's my favorite. That's right, my number one. But uh, pretty good. It's still, still pretty good. Yeah, and this one, it's not like Shaun of the Dead because it's not a comedy. There's funny bits, but it's much more. Uh, Realistic. Or just darker, darker yeah, things yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, and much more grounded with the zombies and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, overall, you recommend it? I do, actually, especially since this is, you can literally just watch this right on Netflix. And uh, it's October, and this is a good yep. horror film. Yeah, and it's, it's one not that's, too long, 99 minutes. It's it's, it's clear, perfect. concise, and to the point. And if you like it, there's a dubbed version. Oh, I don't need a dubbed <laughs> version. I can read well, it, it automatically put the dub version on. Oh, really? And I, I hate yeah. it. Yeah. So I, really I had to go that. through the settings and go switch it back to <laughs> Korean, then switch the subtitles to English. Yep. But yeah, I hate I hate when the words don't match the, the lips. The mouth, yeah. Some people don't like reading. They don't. Some people are very so opposed the, to reading. So this, some people would rather watch a dub version. So if you're into it, there is a dub version of it. There is a dub version. But I watch... Maybe the first three minutes dubbed. You said, I'm and good. I was almost fuck. I was like this guy. I was setting up the hanging, the rope to put in my <laughs> life. Yeah. That is pretty dramatic. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's it's horrible, dude. Yeah. It's like watching a movie from like, I don't know, from like the. It's like watching an old Godzilla film on on TV. I I hate when the words don't match. So. But if you're into it, look at this principal photography for this began last October of 2019, October 1st. They got this film done fast. Yeah. And I love it released in June of this year in South Korea. And I love that the original script was titled alone. They had to change it. 
Yeah. <laughs> they said Hello? that's ridiculous. No. That's not going to sell. Alive. That's I'm not alive. I got a better. Sell. That's why they pay me the big bucks <laughs> yep. guy. And that's why you're just a shitty probably, rider. Yeah. <laughs> they probably pay that executive a hundred. Oh, it was probably a some it was probably yeah, the executive that was overseeing it. It was like, I gotta put my hand on and it. And he's somehow. like, one more thing. <laughs> Add a hashtag before a live. It'll sell. Because hashtag sell Koreans, they love they love hashtags. They love the Twitter. They do. So, they love so the Twitter. we got it. We got it. We got to add it. But this film did great. We can talk about that a little. It was number one on Netflix, it but was. it was number one in like like 30 countries or something like France, wow. Germany, everywhere. So people love it. Yeah, they do. It's universal. I'd recommend it, though. As would I. All righty. Well, that is our review for Alive, the South Korean Netflix film that you can find now streaming. Uh, if you guys like what you see in here and you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to find our podcast and listen to us in your ears, uh, you can find it in Spotify, in iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher, our social media pages. Instagram, have you seen it? Twitter, seen it podcast. Cash is on Twitter. That's just cash. Instagram, have you seen it? Facebook, have you seen a podcast? That's it, folks. Uh, my name is it. Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next and time. Bye.